It's been a roller coaster year for the Duchess of Sussex as she has tried to make the transition from Hollywood to royalty. But a new profile of Meghan reveals she is getting anything but an easy time in palace corridors. Society magazine Tatler paints a portrait of a woman under fire, beset by bad advice and surrounded by snooty courtiers. Some staff, it is said, have even taken to calling her me gain in an apparent reference to her ambition. According to the piece by senior editor David Jenkins, Harry, however, remains utterly besotted and people say it is impossible to catch his eye because he can't stop gazing at Meghan, cow-eyed with devotion. Tatler quotes a source saying that while Meghan knows exactly what she wants, she's almost dealing with everything herself and that's dangerous. As the Mail on Sunday revealed last year, Prince Charles has forged a bond with the Duchess due to their dysfunctional family backgrounds. He was said to be sympathetic to her family troubles and also impressed by the way she coped with her relatives' embarrassing outbursts. But the magazine notes that, initially at least, he was cautious with gossip suggesting that while fascinated with her, he confided to a friend, I just hope he, Harry, doesn't marry her. Similar sentiments were expressed at a dinner by a peer and an old-fashioned grandee, who has connections with Kensington Palace. The peer told the author, she's trouble. I'm not at all sure it's a good thing. The grandee agreed that a few people felt the same way. The Duchess's former agent Gina Nelthorpe Count said Meghan gave her a difficult time. She related a story of how the Duchess complained when she was asked to move seats in a first-class lounge to make way for some visiting Colombian dignitaries. M. Snellthrop Cowan got the impression it was the last time anyone would ever ask her to move again. There have been claims Meghan urged Harry to abandon his old country set pals. But the magazine says she has made a gesture of embracing the country part of her husband's life but did it her way, and didn't care or try too hard. A source said, she also isn't interested in being girly slash fluffy slash having silly chats with the Sloanes. Few would doubt that she has exerted a strong influence over Harry, now a yoga and aromatherapy devotee. Instead of attending a high society wedding of one of his friends, the couple traveled to Amsterdam to attend the three-day launch of a members-only club. Tatler notes that Meghan, unlike the Duchess of Cambridge, has a penchant for very expensive clothes, perhaps paid for by Meghan, perhaps by the Prince of Wales. One source raised the question, where's the Wonga going to come from when Charles is king?